We're here at Deco Board in San Bernardino, and Matt London, general manager, is going to tell us about the automated check of finishing line. Go ahead, Matt. This is our high full wide stain and UV finishing line that we installed last year, 2009. At the beginning, you see the bridge boat picks up panels off a unit and places them on a line. Adjustable in speed. Right now, we're putting a seat on the line every 10 seconds or so. That feeds directly into the sander. That prepares the panels for the finishing process. How long is this line, Matt? This line is 260 feet long. And your your previous older line is how long? The previous line, including the packaging equipment from end to end, is nearly 500 feet. Now the packaging equipment on that line also serves this line because it accommodates five foot wide material. So this line does not have packaging equipment installed on it. have a bypass conveyor. So when we're not staining, we can just pull it offline to clean it or service it or what have you, or set it up for another run. So the bypass conveyor then just slides out of the way when we need to run the stain machine. Next up, you can see the brushes for the stain machine. Two wiping brushes right there, one on an angle, one straight, followed by the infrared drying oven. Which, uh, which will dry the stain or base coat, depending upon which it is that we're using. Coming out of the drying oven, we have our first of two UV sealer machines. And the first one is actually a filling machine. This will apply UV coating particularly sealer or filler, uh, onto a, a board such as particle board, and then with the wiping roll, it fills up the pore of the particle board to make a smooth surface. Followed by a, a gel cure and another sealer machine for a little extra build before we sand. Followed by another DMC sander, two head. Sanding, we go into our top coat stage, and right here we're actually putting on a tinted UV top coat. This is a, a pigmented UV. You can see in the fill, it's actually black paint in there, or what it looks to be black, but when it's spread out on the board, it's actually a, a medium brown. Follow that with a, a gel cure station. And up to a two head UV top coat. After the UV top coat, we have a very short uh, conveyor for the coating to relax a bit before it's fully cured. And then the, the full cure UV right there at the end. And we get up here to the inspection station, uh, the control area for the automation at the end. So the panels come out. You'll see the panels right here. To the side, and they align with the rail, and then they hit the stop, and that's how this particular machine aligns the material on the pallet. Once we reach the height requirement for the pallet, a signal gets sent to the computer, and the unit will automatically move out and prepare for a new unit. One uh, feature built into this line because we run a lot of 5x5 ball sticks all the way up to 10 foot long or 12 foot long panels. With our conveyor system, we can detect how long the unit is. So if we can step over here to the right, you see on the outfeed conveyor, there's an opening right here for a photo line. What that does is it 
taking a reading of where the panel begins and ends, and when it hits here, that, that unit will center itself over the fork pocket. So if we have 5x5, five five, it's not going to put it all the way out here. Or if we have 5x10, it's not going to be too far back. The, the computer will tell it where to center it so the forklift can pick it up. That's great. And from the time that a sheet enters at the beginning of the line to this point is about how much time? Well, we're currently running at 100 feet a minute and it's 260 feet long. So you're looking at about two and a half to you know, two minutes and 40 seconds. That's great. Thanks a lot, Matt.